Many have difficulty getting around. For some, this is as exciting as life gets. This man has dementia and doesn't know where he is, let alone why, which might be just as well, because this isn't a retirement home, it's a unit for New Zealand's old aged prisoners. Recently opened, there are 18 men in the high dependency facility. Most are in their 60s and 70s, a few in their 80s, with all the health problems that come with old age. This is my fourth stroke. I've had six heart attacks, diabetes, and now they think I might have cancer. Um, they've got special nurses that, you know, um, shower you and look after you. And um, I suppose if you can't feed yourself, they probably do that too. The unit's needed because as New Zealand's general population ages, so does its prisoners. At the moment, this unit is the only one of its type in New Zealand, but as the prison population ages, this sort of facility is going to be needed more and more. Nationwide, there are 164 prisoners over 65, a number that's more than doubled in 20 years. That's partly because tougher sentencing keeps people in prison longer, but mainly because historic sexual crime is increasingly catching up with people in their old age. Decoding DNA evidence has helped, but so too has the fact that victims abused in childhood are going to the police as adults. All but one of the prisoners here are serving time for sexual crimes against children, which is why, to avoid upsetting their victims, we've been asked not to show any faces. Some of them will be here until they die. For people who uh, see their time out in, in prison, the best we can do for them is to, con is to look after them humanely. That means better care than old prisoners would get in general prisons, regular visits by health professionals and specially adapted cells. Other countries are watching. It's thought by 2030 a third of prisoners in the United States will be over 55. A study being run from Japan is asking old prisoners worldwide about their needs and experiences. Because on current trends, more people almost everywhere will see out their senior years behind bars. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, in Rumataka Prison near Wellington.